so glad that you're here with me on another episode of whatever this is. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tiffany Bird Harrison and I make videos for performing artists who want to stay spiritually accountable. And you're here, so here is your first accountability check. Hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell so you can be on board for even more videos. Today's video is about why I stopped auditioning for theater. And I'm gonna go through three parts of the story, the why, the how, and the now. So the first part, the why. Why did you stop auditioning? Did I lose my zeal for the stage, you might ask? Well, at this point in my career, I had done several musicals, uh, Ragtime, Carolina Change, In the Heights, Sister Act, and all of them I was super grateful to have been a part of and had an amazing time with each process. But I was starting to feel it physically. I was starting to feel the strain on my voice and my body with shows back to back, which is amazing. I love being booked and blessed, but acting is incredibly physical, not to mention you are vulnerably sharing every part of your heart and your energy with a theater full of people. And I was really struggling with my process just in terms of the routine. I wanted to make sure that I was um, drinking a lot of water, tea all the time. I was running every single morning um, to get all the mucus in my body kind of moved around. The discipline definitely came up for me during those processes, but I could also see that it was almost not sustainable unless I was gonna be bionic and I am not. I was exhausted, but it is no joke. You know, musical theater can really take a toll on every part of your well-being, and I was finding myself really depleted doing shows that I, I liked and I loved, but I, I didn't necessarily feel like they were feeding me back, if that makes sense. I was getting to do all this great work, but I was really starting to lose myself in regards to how I was able to manage my time and my energy and give to my family when I wasn't on stage. I also was being called in for black roles, which is typically slim pickings when it comes to the depth that my white counterparts were being asked to play. But for black women, the tropes were exhausting. So maids, addicts, ghetto, overly sexualized, or slaves. There was one point in my career where I played a slave character or a slave role four times in one year. So just to protect my own spirit and my energy and my heart, I was like, I'm not doing any more slave roles. And we'll talk more about this in future videos, but there is a danger psychologically to being in characters and acting as characters um, that you really have to protect your mind, body, and spirit and process when you're in them, covering yourself and covering your spirit with um, the full armor of God, frankly. And that was honestly the straw that broke the camel's back for me. You know, the dearth of experiences I was having in life, like being newly married and figuring out my relationship with God, those stories were being passed over. I stopped auditioning for roles that were getting darker and darker. No pun intended. Torture and pain and being edgy is more on the regular. And it made me start thinking, is who I am as a character affecting who I am as the person? In good conscience, I couldn't continue to play roles that went against my own real life convictions. I was not comfortable being in certain things that I knew in my real life I would never be a part of. And right, that's why they call it acting. Of course, this is not you, but I often have to think about, you know, would Jesus be comfortable with what I'm doing? Like, would he be able to sit and watch my show in good conscience? And I, there were some pieces that I knew that he wouldn't. There were even some pieces that I wouldn't invite people to because I was ashamed of the work that I was doing. And here's a more practical reason for why I stopped, you know, doing theater and auditioning for theater. Being broke is not the business. Like, it's just not. Artists are, they thrive on their art, but we cannot eat, you know, tickets. Like we can't eat um, reviews. I was just like, look, this money, there just was not enough money to sustain 
all the other things I was doing in life. And again, it's very taboo to talk about leaving theater for other things because people are like, oh, you gave up on your dream. No, I just had new dreams and, and more evolved dreams that included my gifting and, and my desires with what I felt like God was calling me into. So I was really um, open and kind of holding everything very loosely because I felt like, okay, if God is kind of steering me away naturally from this, you know, form or this media, there's other things that I could be doing. There's other things that I could be working on. So um, I, I left knowing that if it was to come back, it would. And if it was meant that I was to do something alongside or adjacent, I would. I didn't feel like I needed to move out loud um, just to prove to people that I was still an actor. I was super excited about, okay, if I'm not doing theater, what else could I be doing? To the how. How do you just stop auditioning? I've often been told that to stay in theater and film, you kind of got to stay hot. If you're on top of minds and relevant in the scene, you have to keep striking so you don't lose that momentum. And you want to make sure that, you know, casting directors and people who are at theaters are thinking of you when they think of certain part. So if people know you're one in other theaters, they're more likely to call you for auditions at their houses. There is something more important than staying hot, and that is staying true. I've always believed that since God gave me these gifts, that he has a right to speak on how I use them. Since I was feeling less and less compelled to say yes to auditions or attend open calls, I had to look spiritually at what I was seeing. My heart was being transformed to think differently about everything in my life, including my craft. My identity was not in being an actor, but first and foremost, in God. And my loyalty was to that relationship over everything. So I could feel my spirit being drawn towards those eternal things. I didn't even question it. I focused in, I prayed, I fasted, and I saw God revealing things ideas to me in like a new way. And I started studying more film and taking classes in my on-camera work. So my how was staying active with the creative community. I still went to go see my friends in shows. I still participated in, um, you know, readings and seeing people's uh, work. I didn't completely disconnect from everything that I knew and understood. I just made a conscious and intentional decision to say no to things so that I could focus in on what I was kind of learning at the current time. I began to learn to use cameras and with my husband's prompting, I started filling up our apartment with like lighting equipment and sound equipment and backdrops and uh, digging into more production and starting to understand how everything worked. And I was working full time at a home job and I was building part time a videography business. Being a beginner videographer. And this is important because <laughs> first of all, I was learning, like I was literally in the middle of my skill set of like, okay, I'm going to learn how to use cameras and, and figure out how to be and build production. And then I was like, why not start a business and felt very comfortable, like taking on a new venture. Um, still scary anytime you start like a small business, but I was just like, hmm, maybe this is something I could do to kind of feed into my other dream. I would have never thought that I'd be interested in technical things or like being behind the camera or, or anything like that. But that's, that really speaks to, you know, when you are aligning yourself with the Lord, he'll open you up to things that you didn't even expect to like be interested in and he will expand your palette and your talents um, with more and more stuff as you submit to him. So pro tip, submit to God. <laughs> I devoted myself to being creative in all ways, learning more skill sets outside of acting, giving my time to my husband and building up my church community. Not once thinking that I was no longer an actor. I was busy growing with other things. I was busy trying to hear and so many voices and, and really quiet the noise. And I think there is something to be said about loving the process, loving theater, loving acting and taking time away to really understand like what you're supposed to truly be doing. And so there was just a nice season of over a year, I think, 
where I just didn't audition and I turned down auditions. Um, and I know some people think that's in bad taste. Like you don't turn down auditions, you know, you work so hard to get people to kind of call you for them, but you have to know what season you're in. And I was in a season where I was focusing on something completely different. And finally, the now. Now is so different than when I did my last onstage work, writing my own work um, and writing characters for myself. So that kind of goes back to the why I stopped. I realized that I wanted to get characters out that I fully identified with and um, that resonated with me and that were complex and nuanced, uh, like a real person. And I didn't want to feel like I had to keep playing tropes just to get someone to kind of hear my heart on things. So that's super exciting. And again, something I was not open to before because I was lazy, <laughs> but now I'm starting to write things and write sketches and write videos and write scripts for the channel. and. Um, I'll be making more and more uh, videos, hopefully, of scenes and collaborating with other creators to kind of put out the stuff that I want to put out. Right in the middle of Corona, right in the middle of the quarantine, we actually moved. So we were in Virginia and I was, you know, well inundated with that scene. And we moved to Georgia. So we are now in Atlanta and we are loving it here, though we haven't seen much of it because we moved here and we haven't really been able to go out and be in public and, and do all those kinds of things. But it's been really, really awesome to be in a place that there are a lot of creatives here and there are a lot of performers and there are a lot of people who do film and are much better at film than I am. So I'm getting a chance to kind of connect with them and learn more about producing my own work. I also think that this time has been so great because in listening to God and hearing from him, I'm able to grow as a believer and really thrive with um, being able to mentor other young women, other people just in their pursuits in the industry, but also honoring God with what they have. And so that has really, you talk about accountability, accountability check, that's happening now for me. And um, this YouTube channel even was something that I felt so led to do, mainly because I want to keep myself creatively accountable and also spiritually accountable. So everything I'm sharing with you guys, I am putting into practice as much as possible and trying to live this out, you know, to see if it works, to see can you um, honor God with everything that you have and also really put out value and, and give value to people in the world. Let me know if you're getting value out of this, make sure to smash that like button and go ahead and leave me a comment below and let me know if this is helping you or if this is encouraging you, if you want more videos about being an artist and being um, committed to God, I would love to do more and talk more about this with you guys. I also have to be super clear that I am not completely done with theater forever and ever. Um, if I feel super led to do a piece or to work in something, I will definitely go out for it, but it's not my focus. Um, I've actually made pretty much a full, if you can even call it a full transition, because I haven't really done anything yet, but I have made pretty much the full transition to film. And so I am both interested in working on camera as well as behind camera in that. I can't say that I'll never go back to theater, but um, probably for the foreseeable future, especially currently with the circumstances, I won't be doing anything for theater for a while. Um, but that doesn't mean that can't change. So I definitely want to leave it open and hopefully I'll get a chance to be on stage doing characters that I really, really care about and that I'm excited to give all of my energy to. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me and hearing about my experience. The question of the day, have you ever taken a break from performing and why? I want to hear from you in the comments. So let's talk about it. And if this video was helpful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and share with your friends and your other artistic people so we can grow together. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.